Hi, my name is Melinda and this is A Web of Stories. This is my very first booktube video. Um, I have been a book blogger and a bookstagrammer for quite some time and I kind of felt like it was time to up my game a bit. Uh, my choices were booktube or book talk. Um, I am a viewer but not a creator on TikTok and I don't particularly like book talk. That's not a way that I get a lot of recommendations. I do however really like booktube and I've enjoyed watching a lot of videos uh, from other creators so I thought it was time to jump in. My daughter is behind the camera. She is 13 years old and in eighth grade and she's on her school's news media team and so she's going to be my producer. You won't see her because she doesn't want to be on camera but she will say hi right now won't you Lily? Hi! <laughs> so she's the behind the camera magic. Anyway, let me introduce myself. Uh, I live in the Pacific Northwest in the Portland, Oregon metro area. As I said, I have been book blogging and books, bookstagramming for quite some time. I am a pretty voracious reader and a very active book clubber. I belong to several book clubs. I average about 12 to 14 books a month. Um, I read just about anything. I sometimes have a little trouble with science fiction and fantasy. Um, I'm not a very sciencey person, so sometimes I can get a little lost in science fiction. And fantasy, I didn't really start reading it until I was an adult, so sometimes I have a little trouble with fantasy as well. It's not to say I don't like those genres, they're just a little more challenging for me. Uh, the only genre I don't read a lot of right now is romance. This is not because I think romance is less than. It's just because in 2017, 90% of what I read was romance because at that point in time, I thought things were as bad as they were gonna get. I was wrong, by the way. <laughs> the world got a lot worse after 2017. But during that time, I needed to read books that I knew would have happy endings. Um, so I think I just got oversaturated with romance during that time. At some point, I'm sure I'll go back to it. I also don't read a lot of young adult fiction right now because my children, as I said, I have a daughter who's 13. Um, I also have a son who's 12, but they're right on the verge of the young adult age group. And I need my books to be a little bit of an escape. And so I'm sure that in several years, I will look back at this time and very nostalgically, and I will start reading young adult again. But right now I don't read that much of it. Um, I My favorite genres are probably mystery and historical fiction, historical fiction. I am trying to work through all of Agatha Christie's books. You can kind of see the ones that I have finished right now. I have quite a ways to go. I just started this project this year um, and I'm quite enjoying it. Uh, and I also, as you can tell, wherever my Louise Penny books are, I read Louise Penny and you can believe that I am clearing my reading calendar for November 29th to read the next Armand Gambache book. Um, my hopes for this channel is that I will talk about all sorts of different book related things. As I said, I'm a big book clubber. I have a lot of things I can talk about regarding book clubs if that interests people. I, um, you know, have my challenges as a reader, one of which is being married to a non-reader and only having one bookshelf. That's another issue. Um, there's all sorts of different topics that I could talk about. Um, I'll probably do post really regularly, probably once a week with what I'm reading. And I guess I'll start that right now. So what I am currently reading, um, I am a book polygamist and I have figured out that my sweet spot for a number of books to have going at one time is five. So I have a print book, an ebook, an audio book, what I call a bathroom book, um, and then a year long slow and steady read. Um, and I, that's a perfect number for me to juggle. So let me go through what I'm reading right now. For my print book, I'm reading Halloween Party by Agatha Christie because it seemed like this was a good time to read that book. I have jumped far ahead in the Perot books to get to that one, but that's okay. My ebook um, I'm starting tonight is The Death of Vivek Oji. Um, that is for one of my book clubs. So I don't know much about that book. I'm looking forward to reading it and I'm looking forward to discussing it in a couple weeks with my book club. Uh, my audiobook is actually a reread. I am listening to The Sentence by Louise Erdrich. This is um, like a double duty book club. Uh, I have a book club coming up in a, about a week or so for this book club, but I've actually already read this book. I couldn't wait to read it. So I read it earlier this year and it is one of my five star books for the year. Um, so now I'm listening to it to refresh my memory um, and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Um, my 
bathroom book is a collection of Agatha Christie short stories called The Last Seance, which are her sort of haunted short stories. Um, so I read like one of those a day. And then my year long uh, slow and steady read this year is The Count of Monte Cristo. Um, I should be finishing that up in December. I read probably two to three chapters a week. And I'm really enjoying that way of reading it. I don't think I could have made it through this book unless I did it that way. In fact, I've enjoyed the slow and steady experience so much that so I plan to do it again next year. Um, and I have chosen, uh, my book for next year will be uh, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell uh, by Susanna Clark. So that's what I'll be reading in 2023 throughout the year. And so there you go. That is a snapshot into me. I look forward to getting to know more of you and watching your videos and maybe sharing some things. Um, I do ask that you have patience with us. This is brand new to me and brand new to my daughter. We are learning how to do this and it's we're, we're going to shuffle things around till we figure this out. I don't know if I'm always going to be in front of this bookcase, my one bookcase. Again, that's for another that's for another video. Um, but we'll, we'll give it a try and see what works. So in the meantime, um, I hope to have a video out very soon and tell you a little bit more about myself. But in the meantime, please ask me any questions that you want in the comments. Thank you.